So, Kenneth Jackson, you um, you have done a lot of projects here mm -hmm. at BWAC with your students, mm -hmm. and this is one of your projects. Yes. Um, do you want to talk about it for us? This is, you know, my school, which is PS 106, and this is IS. Some of these students that are here are my past students. Oh, okay. This is like uh, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade. This is like fourth and fifth grade. So some of these students were in my class in fifth grade. Wow. So they went on to the intermediate school. So I, I'm still showing the work. Are these, are there, are there some students' works like here that, that are also students' works here? No, I, I don't actually have that. I sort of looked at this and just picked out the ones that grabbed me the most. Just from, just following the, the, uh, the lesson. Mm -hmm. The lesson is, is not an easy lesson. You have to paint from life. And you, 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 we learn about a still life and you have to paint from life and you also have to use oil paint. Oh, oils so the, are really hard. But this is the oils that you wash up with soap and water. Okay. So it's, you still have to learn how to do it. Now this is, this one was not done by a student. This was done by a paraprofessional. Mm. Now he worked in the class with the students, but this is all student work. Okay. And so these are, these are the same subject matter. This one is the same as that. This is the same as that. This is a different one, different one, different one, different one. These are the same, this is the same, and this is a different one. But I try to get all the students to look at things a certain way. Once you start looking at it, you know, you can make your art what you want. If you want to just concentrate on one part, you do that. And you accentuate that. They have such a problem with drawing from life that they'll draw a little tiny, tiny thing. And I say, you have nothing to paint. So now you have to um, work big, work from the center, work out. If you have to go off the page, go off the page. But the, 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 the joy of painting on canvas is that you paint the whole canvas. Yeah. So I have a process that they do when they go through the process. Usually it comes all right. You go off the page, go off the page. And we'll work on it, we'll work on it until we get to a certain point where we start adding light, shadow, light, shadow. So the light would come this way. So if, if we were still working on this, we'd add a little more lighter here, like this. So I had him go back in, put the light here, put the light here, put the light here. So it's like showing them how to paint white. So if you're gonna paint something white, you have to paint it gray first. Or you're gonna paint this white. This is like, a, I have a, a blue skull. Mm -hmm. So paint it blue first and then put the white on top. And that's how it works. You learn how to work with lights. This does so much for them. They don't even know it. Yeah. It's like, I don't have to tell them, it's just do it. But it does so much for them and how you look and how you see. And then when you get to this stage where you're just doing art, like sh this artist we're following is Jonathan Green. He does this style of work. But even when you're doing this, it works. See how that is done? It has a lot to do with your foundation. Mm -hmm. So I'm supposed to be giving them that foundation of how to work with color, how to see color, how to see things, and how to actually begin to see art. Like, like I tell them all the time, this is not going to be like a drawing class. I'm not going to say you have to be able to draw. What you have to be able to do is participate, and you will learn how to draw by doing yeah. that. So it, it, it's a kind of advanced, but I only do that with the fifth grade. But even with the, the kindergarten, the, you know, some of the parents say, this is too hard. But it's like, you know, it's art. Let them enjoy it. Yeah. Some of the things might be hard when they have to have them write down how they feel about things, but that's for you to help them with. But when I see students do stuff like this and this, and I think this coming from him that did this, it's great. And this is the best piece he's done. And I had to make him finish it. I said, you got to call in the background. You got to do this. You got to put it on the table. <laughs> you got to color the flower pot. You got to color the leaves. 
And look what he did when he colored the leaves. Look how he did the bird. And this is that, there's a, a mannequin's head. This mm -hmm. is the mannequin. Look how he put the eyes on that. It's beautiful. Well, this was really great. Thank you so much for talking to us about all of your work, your, cura your curator's work, your mm -hmm. paintings, and your work as a teacher and a motivator. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for this.